What's up guys, we are back again and I am finally going to be reviewing Hellraiser. Now, let me go ahead and say this uh, first off. Uh, I never, I don't really remember too much of the original films. Uh, I don't really remember watching the first film, but overall there's been a lot of back and forth with this film. Right now you can watch it on Hulu and I just wanted to give it a try to give something kind of scary, so-called scary to watch. Uh, let me go ahead and say this now, this movie was not scary. Um, it was very disappointing, it was boring, it was cringe, it was just very disappointing, and again, I'm not sure if they knew what they were doing when they made this film, or where they were going with this film, because what this whole film is centered around is you have Riley, who is a recovering drug addict, who met her boyfriend AA, who is living with her brother, and one night when her and her boyfriend tried to steal from somewhere that they have, he has been working, which apparently is from another character who was using others so he way he could get whatever prize from Hellraiser, and then at that point they steal it, and then when this happens, we see a huge dynamic turn when Riley's brother hits the uh blade and when this happens it starts happening to her and she starts trying to figure out where exactly all this is going on and just turn of events turn events turn events and then you later figure out what is going on in the film and who's responsible now overall like i said i've never really found myself drawn to the hellraiser franchise it never really appealed to me too much i never thought it was that good of a franchise so I wanted to just go ahead and try to give it a fresh start and again it just it felt very cringe to me because I don't really remember being told or even remember seeing other so-called ones that would go after the victims to torture them so it didn't really make a lot of sense to me on why there would be multiple ones trying to do the torturing as well as also what was the ultimate prize even though if you got a prize it was pretty much a twisted end like you never got really what you wanted but it always came with a price and that's what the whole thing is with this movie and everyone is giving praise to the new you know pinhead and to the new act ones leading the movie and i will say this they did good to what they were given but i think it could have been tremendously better it just felt very cringe to where you were waiting for the movie to be over is the way i feel and it just made to the point where I was kind of just sitting here and I was bored throughout the entirety of the film. It wasn't scary. It was gory, but it was one of those where I think the CGI could have been better. I think the storyline could have been better. And I think the characters could have been better. Because, again, you don't relate with none of these characters. Again, it's not some, from everything I've seen, you're not supposed to relate with any of these characters. You're supposed to try to understand them and kind of go, okay, I understand what's going on. And I may feel for this character, but I'm not going to root for this character. I didn't even root. I don't even root for Pinhead. I didn't even root for the uh, so-called survivors in this film. I was hoping no one would survive in this film because it just it was that bad of a film, and it went straight to Hulu. So I was like, okay, you know, maybe this is a good thing, maybe it's a bad thing. I don't know. But guys, did you guys watch Hellraiser? I mean. Is it worth watching? I don't think so. I think, again, if you're a Hellraiser fan, give it a try. Uh, if you're a fan of horror, give it a try. But at the end of the day, is it worth watching? I personally don't think so. I think it's a waste of time. I think this is a wasteful movie. I don't think that anyone that is a horror fan that enjoys horror, that anyone that enjoys story, anyone that enjoys character development, anyone that jo enjoys something of a great story and uh, I would say a decent franchise, uh, don't watch this film. You're going to be wasting your time. That's my honest opinion. Uh, I know I'm probably going to get some hate about that for ones like, oh, you don't know nothing about the Hellraiser franchise or, you know, so something like that. And again, that's fine. I don't, you don't have to agree with me. You don't have to like me. Uh, but at the same time, I, I, I'm a movie reviewer. I'm a reviewer of entertainment. I, in my mind, there are different types of entertainment. You got good entertainment, you got bad entertainment. For me, this falls in the line of bad entertainment. And there's some movies that I can say that are probably good that other people are going to say, hey, no, you're wrong. And that happens. I mean, there's a lot of movies probably this day that I'll say they're great, in my opinion. or And others will be like, no, it's not. Or, or oh, it's trash. Or, oh, it's cheesy. Or, oh, it's this. Or, oh, it's that. And 
maybe in their right mind they have a point but in my mind this movie was not a, a, a thing that I would personally go back to this is not a film that I would say hey go check this out I, like I said I didn't enjoy it I don't recommend this film um, I think the actors did good with what they're given I think that the acting was cringe I think that the acting was very badly I also think that the writing was stupid and I think the story was just very you know tiring and wasteful but uh, that's just my opinion. But let me know what you guys think about Hellraiser, the brand new movie of 2022. Uh, we are during Halloween spooky month. So, again, I'm going to be trying to review more uh, horror films. So, just give me a chance to be able to upload those for you. So, much more videos coming out throughout the week as well as every other day. Daily content. So, if you need a channel, uh, say hi down in the comments down below. Leave a big fat like on the video if you guys enjoy. Um, there's going to be more videos coming very soon. So, stay tuned. And, as always, I've seen you on the very next one.